Hello and welcome. This is Clarissa and this is Teaching Tip Tuesday. And today we are going over alignment. Super short and simple video to go over your posture and how you should be standing. So a lot of times, you know, we're either bending our knees too much or we're hunching our shoulders or we're just kind of relaxed or we're standing, we're just kind of sitting here, you know, texting or shooting our hip out and throwing everything out of alignment here. So when you're standing, and a lot of you like to call something a box, which includes your shoulders, and your hips, this is your box, this is your frame. And we're gonna talk about our plumb line here. So, with how you wanna stand, you know, whether you are waiting in line or something like that, what we're looking for as a glide instructor, and just for good alignment, is making sure that your plumb line, which runs from your ear, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle, is all in the same line here. So you can tell my shoulders are slightly forward because of course, you know, with everyday life and texting and things like that, it's made my shoulders protrude. But as I stand and I just try to correct, get my ear in line with my shoulders, my, cho my shoulders are pressed back, my rib cage is pulled in, my abdominals are knitted, all right? Hips are nice and level, making sure one hip is not high tired than the other. The knees aren't hyperextended. A lot of times, some of us either lock knees or you bend our knees too much and the knees just have a soft bend in them and my arches aren't pressed down. We don't have that bulbous collapse here. So you wanna make sure that arches are lifted here. And if I face you, this is what I mean. You can look at my body, right, with my legs together. You can see that I have a slight bow, so I have to work really hard to find a little external rotation in my hip in order to kind of make the alignment come up a little bit better through my inner thighs. I also wanna make sure that my arches aren't too high lifted or too pressed down into the floor. And then as I start to come up, making sure that my hips aren't height. So far they're not. I try to do a good job of keeping everything nice and square. And then my shoulders are in line, my fingers are reaching down, and I'm standing up nice and tall. So that's something that we look for as a Pilates instructor. And just through everyday life, making sure that our ears are in line with our shoulders, our shoulders are in line with our hips, hips in line with knees, and knees in line with ankles. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick little teaching tip this Tuesday, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Take care.